Eya Leopa. So today I will go for Juma prayer at uh, Reykjavik, Iceland because uh, today is a Friday and this is also my first time to go to the mass and also the first time uh, I'm here uh, for doing uh, Juma prayer at Reykjavik University. So a bit confused because I don't know the location but uh, I will show you around. So from the bus stop, oh, it's about seven minutes by walk. Um, it's according to the Google Maps, uh, but uh, I'm not sh I'm not sure exactly because this is also my first time, and uh, a bit uh, like confused about which way should I should I take. Um, but um, so that's why I mean like I always look at my mobile phone at the maps just to make sure that uh, I went to the right path to the mass. The name of the mass is uh, the Grand Mass of Iceland and it is uh, it was built in uh, 2010 so yeah, it's a bit younger because it's uh, almost uh, it's uh, about uh, 10 years old and uh, yes because uh, this is also because the Muslim population here is not so many so that's why based on the, the, the data or statistics it's only like 0.4% uh, of the total population of Iceland and uh, yeah and uh, as long as I know that uh, there are three mass here in Iceland, um, but it's not as big as uh, mass like used to be. Because, uh, for example, like the mass that I will go now is actually one of the uh, big one here. But uh, maybe I mean like in other country, it's not as big. Because for me, when I camp to the mass is uh, actually yes it's quite small but uh, yeah at least but i'm so happy i mean at least that uh, there is a mass there are mass here at uh, Reykjavik or iceland and you can see that uh, on the right side is actually the mass so yeah what do you think um is it big middle or small <laughs> um because i mean in my country indonesia um the size, this size is actually like a uh, little mass. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm so happy. And you can see that there are a lot of uh, car here because uh, in Iceland, most of people, like uh, everyone uh, has a car. So uh, that's why, I mean, like you can see a lot of car here, but uh, there is no traffic actually because uh, the population is only like uh, 300,000. So yeah. I mean, uh, you can still uh, a lot of space um, here in Iceland. So this is the mass you can see on this on the what I want to say on the sign. It's a bit called the Grand Mass of Iceland. Let's go right. So here I am. So now I will uh, enter to the mass, and this is the entrance. Um, not so many shoes. Yes. <laughs> so I will put my shoes first, and then I will go inside. And because I don't have uh, my wudu, so that's why I took a wudu first at the wudu. So yeah. And the water is really warm, and I really like it because here in, Swe in Iceland, Sweden, <laughs> I almost forget I always talk about Sweden because I live in Sweden. Uh, I was living in Sweden, but now I live in Iceland. And this is the hanger, so because I wore a raincoat, because uh, based on the prediction, it will be rain, so that's why I, 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 I wore a raincoat at the time. 
and uh, here I will uh, hang my rain cut. And you can see, see, it's not as many as, uh, I mean, like, not as many as uh, Muslim in other countries, or especially in Sweden, in my city, for example, in Göteborg. So, this is it. But uh, I'm so happy that uh, I can find this community and also the mass here in Iceland. So let hear uh, the speech. And now it's time for prayer. And as, as you can see, there, are, there were a lot of space. So that's why I came closer to the front. As long as I see that uh, I don't, I didn't recognize, I don't recognize any Indonesian face here. Most of them is actually from uh, Middle East. Um, yeah, I hope that in the future there will be a lot of Indonesian here, especially my fellow Indonesian Muslim. So. Okay, that's all my Juma prayer today on Friday. So, um, before I left this mass, uh, I tried to uh, document what is uh, inside of the mass. Like, uh, I just, I, I'm really curious about this mass. And then it says that uh, it, it was built by the foundation of Iceland. In 2010, so it's still younger, and here there are a lot of uh, Quran and also like the schedule, uh, praying schedule here uh, in Iceland. And I also saw some of the Muslim kids here. Yes, I hope that they can be the next Muslim generation here in Iceland and can spread the kindness of the Muslim, right? <laughs> So now um, I was heading to the entrance because I need to go because I still have uh, another classes at my university. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will welcome you all, my Muslim fellow, to come to Iceland. So thank you so much and uh, don't forget to subscribe like and also comment my channel and discuss so 
I can give you some of the suggestion if you want to uh, visit or if you want to move to Iceland, for instance. Okay, hello, Aliopa, till next time.